Well, so far, I'm talking to two individuals representing the NDC and the NPP. Um, while the, the NDC supporters, or the NPP rather, supporters say that road and infrastructure development came into this constituency um, during the tenure of Bernard Okoboy, those representing the NDC absolutely disagree. They say that um, before 2020, the roads were very bad. There were a lot of potholes, mm. and uh, the, the, there was basically no properly asphalted road leading right. from the Lekma Hospital all the way to La Scala right. and Adwemi. Right. However, um, Honorable Eriku has brought uh, road and infrastructure development into the community. And just before we, we went off air on TV3, there was mm. a, a heated argument and debate between the members representing the two major political parties about who, in fact, brought that um, road development and road construction projects into the community. They're still arguing as we speak. Uh, they, they cannot seem to agree. Mm. That, that, that they, are, they are torn between Bernard Boy and uh, Aiku Nate. And Aiku, exactly. Mm. They're saying that one person lobbied and the, and, and the construction began under the other person's tenure. So it does not mean that if construction begins under your tenure or during your tenure, then you, in fact, lobby to bring us development. So mm. that's what they cannot seem to agree on. And, and the debate is heated. It appears this is not the first time they're having such a debate. It's mm. a running debate in the community. Right. I, I know that uh, parts of Teshi, for oh, example, the greater mm -hmm. estate area, um, has, um, what do you call it, some flooding issues when, whenever it rains. Um, did they talk about that as well? We haven't had the opportunity to talk about mm. um, the many issues plaguing the community yet. Right. We will begin to do that at about 8.35 and um, back on TV3. But yes, I, 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 I know about the flooding because I have lived in this constituency all my life. And so I know that when it rains, there are some communities that get heavily flooded. Among other things, because of the construction of some filling stations, um, which are reportedly, um, I stand to be corrected, construction constructed along waterway. I see that the total filling station at the Kibla last stop, which has been at the center of a lot of controversies, has been shut down now um, and standing right in front of the, the filling station. So I see that it has been shut down. So when we come back on air on TV3, I will find out mm. whether the shutting down of that station. Well, we are live on air. We are live on air now. Can we can we put the phone to them to to ask them those questions? You're live on 3 FM 92.7. Your Elba right, Lifestyle uh, Radio. Let me, let me mm. just move closer to any of the right the the, the executives of the various parties. Right. All right. Please hold on. Mm. They want to speak. Ga, allow them to speak. Ga. Uh, we're live on, t on 3 FM with uh, Johnny Hughes. Mm. What is your name and what do you do? My name is Dennis Sete. Dennis, and who are you? The second vice chairman for the NPP. Mm. Second vice chairman for the NPP. Right. All right. So I I'm here with the second vice chairman for the NPP. Um, and and, and I'm, I'm going to ask him the question that you just asked. Go ahead, So we please. know that there has been some flooding here in Tessin, Pueblo, uh, sometimes when it rains. Some people have said it's because of some of the filling stations that have been constructed. Exactly. What is the situation now, and what do the people want? Yes, thank you very much, now, Shoko. And um, I must say, um, I'm very grateful for being on this show. In fact, where in Tribulo here, there's a place where we normally experience flooding whenever it rains. And it's, it's just behind this particular filling station. Yes. If you like, when we finish, I can even take you to the place for you to go and have a first-hand information as to what actually goes on there. And it's all because of the filling station for the that belongs to the member of parliament for this constituency. Honorable Benjamin Ayuku. If there is a road from the top that leads straight and it connects to this street of main road. And because of where he cited the filling station, normally when it rains, the torrent the run of water that will come from the top is not able to come down to come and enter the small drain that we have by the roadside. So that's what causes the, the flooding. I must also admit that it's not only a filling station. There are other scratches too that are also in the in the in the, in the, in the just along the waterway, and they are situated situated right in uh, in the uh, in the road reservation. So that's what is causing that that, that issue over there. Right. So we know for sure that the Enrable MC some few months ago they came around and they even marked on some scratches that would definitely go down for us to be able to have
that particular road from the top to this particular tribal road so that this issue of um, flooding will stop at the tribal area here. When you go to the Teshinua estate, we used to have flooding along that particular stretch where we have houses there that are normally flooded. But because of the timely intervention of the Assembly and the Ministry of um, 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 Works and Housing, the Honorable Minister came around and they inspected work at the landing, uh, the Teshi landing site, where they even encouraged, and they, they, they actually got a contractor who came on site and dredged the entire uh, Sango Lagoon. Okay. So because of the dredging we did a few months ago, whenever it rains, rain ran off water from Medina straight to into the sea. Now it's able to enter the sea. Even if there is a rise in um, sea level, it's able to get it spread itself over there because of the dredging that we did some few months ago. So along the... Under whose supervision did you do this dredging? The current MC. The current MC. Because the, the contract was awarded by the, the question housing through the hydrological service department. And the municipal chief executive and the assembly supervised the work, and it was it was executed. All right, thank you so much. So, Johnny, there you go. Great. Um, okay. The the question of flooding, what's causing it, and what they're doing about it so right. far here in the constituency, right. Johnny. Now, 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 let's find out also. I mean, the the the, the two key candidates in the constituency, Bernardo Coboy, Minister for Health, former Deputy Minister, um, former Member of Parliament, going with uh, Aikunate. What, what does the NDC think their chances are because Okubo is confident that he's going to win? Um, did you ask them that? The NDC. Right. What, what do they think their chances are because Okubo is confident that he's going to win again? All right. Let me speak to representative of the NDC here. Mm. What's your name, sir? And who are you? I'm the person of the NDC. Yes, please. All right. Now, going into the elections with um, Okubo looking to come back, all right, and Ayuku is currently the member of parliament. We know that in this constituency, no MP has run for more than, or has won for more than one term. After each term, they kick you out and bring in a new person. What do you think Honorable Ayuku Nate's chances are this term? Well, let, 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 let me quit the, uh, let me try to raise this erroneous question. Under this public republic, an MP has been retained. Which one? Um, from 90, 92 to 96, and 96 to 2000. So that, uh, Ronzo, the person be created that no MP has ever been retained is wrong. Uh, let's set that record straight. And what also, the other part is also that, in all, uh, within this dispensation, political parties have been retained on two terms. So between after Nia uh, Adeboy Seka was moved out of office, the next MP who came, ran on the city of the MP, NTP. The second MP, uh, Nolly, also NPP. So the parties was able to retain two, on two terms. Afterwards, then you had Nino Tedua on the ticket of the NDC. Then Senor Kiti Dua on the ticket of the NDC for two terms. However, what the only person who has translated that two terms period is the, uh, our incompetent Dr. Bernardo Kogwe. Because he performed so abys abysmally, he translated the two terms that the people of Texas give to the parties. So that the reason is very So the point is, the chances of Ayuku uh, retaining the seat, actually, is no doubt. All right. All right. Thank I see. you so much. Now, now in, so, in, so in terms, had I, I had a response. There. Now, in, in terms of the economic um, uh, situation in, in, in Teshi, Tribla, and the Lejokuku constituency as large, um, what, what would they say it is? First, the MPP man, and then we can speak to the NDC man as well. All right. So, now, um, let, let's speak in terms of the economic situation here in Teshi. Um, how are things economically? I mean, your no problem. Taxi drivers say, we be we we taxi rank. Taxi drivers say, auto drivers say, say I'm a shikami. I'm I'm a kotoku mi your thing. So, um, thank you, Master Amata Wushieko. Um, no, let me go Benny back at Teshi. Nabes, 
outside Africa, a Logan, a BNF, a book, a Jill and Fed, and Jawafa, one, and only few minutes. A no, a Jimmy. A war, a Gino Coni, a FI, one young man, a war, brothers, especially taxi drivers, many through the lobbying school, can have Dr. Benjamin Okoboy, the men were lonely, Benin, one rabble MC, well, rabble, uh, Motokai Quashi. Now make way, you have to make a lolly, Benin, so maybe you couldn't have a time. I'm only argument and I'm a few. No, I make a justify my argument and fair jacket. I'm a fair demonstration. See, let me tell you, demonstration now feel like I feel a bonner. That kind of demonstration, both NDC and PP for a fair way. Before the demonstration, a news item I will share with you. Even before, the Honorable Minister Chief Executive, Honorable Modekai Kwashi, in the second quarter of last year, Drumona, Ababun, Mekeshi, as part in have in our rooms there about both came on. And when we finish, I will share the news item with you. The one of me, honorable MC, you put it every room. Me, let honorable Benjamin Ayukwe on their own campaign platform. A case in there is not three this government can do in terms of fixing our inner rules. On the share, I can't hear you. It's captured on video. I think 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 I and the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. Who are MPA, the government, because it represents us on the legislature. Not only happening, Jack, the new war, the John Domani, but I'm a member, but again, it be a lobby, Nama, I'm a free session, but it be for now. Who are MPA government, I'm an agent, this new year, I'm a swan, I'm a for that. She can go free to room, and go free to room only by Ryan Shuate, if I use a political party, machinery. Oh, here, I can video for you. What's a video and a whole banana? It's very unfortunate that I get what I mean. You have a domain visit for consistency. Yeah, you are the offer bearer. Eh, but then a domain, I promise. Open it, but I'm opening the domain, I promise. A far bearer, I need. Never. Then I have a bear, honorable, a unit, several thousand, eighty over roots, Caribbean, like a bassin, a baku. But then I'm again, you levy capas, you levy a balance can I get you? You levy a bar. I get a good at the IMF. You're on the IMF, Scabba Baron at Bassi. And then you are a president, I mean, president to be. They bought consent. You know what I tell you? Again, the Barber that's there. You're in his government. They've been there on a trip in a road. We have more roads now, Bassi. Okay, Bram, you could not tell. A lot of these kids, you know, so they can't let before. And I can tell you, Bar, a question wrong me. I could not find a market with nobody but I really bet me. ที่ที่เนี่ยเดี๋ยวจะโน้นเนี่ยอินเตอร์วิวเด็ดเอ่อเป็นเป็นเนี่ยเดี๋ยวเอ่ออินเตอร์วิวออนดัตเอ่อท
I heard it loud and clear. What, what does the what does the NPP representative say? What does the NPP representative say in response to that? All right. Uh, okay. 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 I can see government fixing rules there. What in that rules if you know what you're taking? Government saying, see that MP and DC need to join Mama. They better be president. Then I'm a party. You are a solid need to join Mama by now. I mean, we know about demonstration. This is that we need to join the demonstration. Mainly, NDC B can P P B now organize. Moses is a police station executive. Moses is a police station executive of the NPP. If they see to organize the same. Now, can you hear me? Face demonstration. We are talking about ma lawyer. Oh, yeah. He was not going to go any more. We have a policy here. Ni inkabowe, inkabowe about the new site and new trouble. That's the construction of testing rules to begin in the second quarter of 2023. Now, can maybe I'm afraid demonstration. They they conducted the demonstration in May, which means I guess they themselves said they 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 knew I guess the MC. In time, I can pronounce me to a Construction of roads here, or in a road here, BNA, will start in the second quarter. It was only to me, I made two I made three, I made some political gimmicks. So, you know, I'm a family. No need, you know. On issues about development, can you be in the end? The first guy, the Nebremagin, if you name the unit. It was very Dr. Benjamin Okobo's time. The minute one now got a schedule. Yeah, that was the time they started the construction of the testing link road. Oh, here, yeah. That one is the past. I guess in Nakan time. Nakan time, after the time, now I'm leave the office. They were about, it was about 30% complete. You know you yourself, because you're not working like a new business by Germany. Let me tell you what happened. The time in the MPP, what we need power, new or bar, we realized that guess, the contractor left side. What people are coming when the contractor left side. Because yeah. the contractor left side, because there was no formal contract. Between the government of Ghana and the contractor, then the one is happy in Nakae, the happy in Nakae, the contractor is paying me, I guess, a pulling five million dollars. The worker pay the Isika, the Bafemini, the band side. That was the time, you know, bad Nakasi. Dr. Kubwe started the media advocacy. The one, every time you Dr. Kubwe banana can continue here, he was telling the president. The Rose Minister and everybody who mattered, so far as Nakai Road was concerned, I can see. I remember now, I'm about three minutes. I'm about three. Well, now, I'm not contractor. That place of Ghana, I'm not contractor. Mm. A contractor mm. from Nigeria. Me mm. before they say, I'm about three, I'm a site office here, Lekma, hospital, let's say. Me contractor, but you know, we're back there, nature of work, the Benini be your name, you know, we're feminine. You see, first, Dr. Kobwe, you know, what's in this which year? It was in 2019 to 2020. It was 2020. They did the need for not contract at the end. And in fact, not kind of five million dollars. Say money and the government say the contract about first. Ni a balance is not paying. Not kind of detail. Ni contract get to not kind of money is in it. The contract was even paid the five million dollars. Where the idea get to have the five million dollars. Say to be back to money for me. It's in here. Now have the five million dollars. Say no. In the contract and the city. It was. Through the talk of where lobbying skills can be here. So, you know, it was not new contractor. Now, but now, but they're not living in it. They want me to make a guess. 
Na kai lekma rode ni di lekma rode. Ame ji me ni ame konsort lekma rode. Koba. Eh eh na la antina. What people were here question? And the demonstration alone. Just demonstration alone. There have been so many constituencies here Ghana be here. Asha ma ke me ko me ko me. Na me wan me face demonstration. What be question? Na me face demonstration on the deplorable nature of their roads there. E ko me na fi say ha me no. So what the, we have they should understand the question. Just mere demonstration eh doesn't work solve the issue. And it is even an indication now that we have a listening president. Me, I'm a fair demonstration. Mm. He came in, he listened to the plight of the good people of this community. And they brought the contractor. Today, we are in this room. No, Jesse, there's no way. Now, about this, about the road construction, you're testing your name. Let <laughs> Advocacy. All right. All right. So, um, Johnny, there you have it. Um, that's a response. I, I see. It's, it's, it's going to be. Sorry, but we, we have to wrap up. We, we have to wrap up. I, I can imagine it's going to be interesting in the coming yes. days. We're, we're crossing over to TV now. Sure. Now, nah, thank you very much indeed right. for your time. It's we're great grateful. You. Great, great, so great as well. And that's Nash Oko Mensanduku joining us from Tessie Triblo, the Lejukuku constituency. And a bit of a teaser for you. We uh, gear up towards the election. What does the historical performance look like between the NDC and the MPP in the Lajukuku constituency? In 1996, the NDC had 49.6% of the votes. The NPP had 31.0. In year 2000, the NPP had 48.4% and the NDC had 34.4%. That was the break of the new dawn where President Kufu had come in. In 2004, the NPP had 43.1%, the NDC had 42.0%, and then in 20, 2008, the NPP had 41.6%, the NDC had 57.2%. In 2012, it was 44.3% for the NPP, and then 55.4% for the NDC. And then you're looking at 50.8% for the NPP in 2016, and then also 48.3% for the NDC. That was for the parliamentary record. Now let's look at the presidential record. The NDC has won four times in Lejokuku. The MPP has won two times in Lejokuku. 37.9% in 1996 for the NPP, 60.0% for the NDC. In 2000, 51.6% for the NPP, 43.4% for the NDC. 49.8% for the NPP in 2004, and that also 48.9% for the NDC in 2004. In 2008, the NDC won with 55.8%. The NPP had 42.6%. Fast forward to 2012, the NDC won with 56.6% on the presidential level, 42.8%. And then in 2016, 49.9%, 49.8%, sorry, and then 49.3% for the NPP. So the historical record and the performance will show that four times in the Lejukuku constituency since 1996. It's been the constituency that tilts towards the N, uh, NDC. Okay. Now we'll get into some more detail in the coming days. You want to stay with us here. Presidentially in the 2020 elections, 59,096 votes was what John Dramani Mahama garnered in the Lajukuku constituency to make a total of 53.41%. Nanado Danko and Kufuado gave him a hot chase with 50,530 votes, which amounted to 
45, sorry, 45.67%. 50,530 amounted to 45.67%. In the coming days, we'll get into other constituencies and share with you what's going to happen there. It's some 56 minutes after eight, we're getting ready for the big conversation with Dr. Nyahuta Maklou. Founding member of the NPP, he is also a diplomat, a politician, sports administrator, soldier, doctor, and a senior citizen. See you shortly after this break. We bring on Togbiga Nyahu Nyahu Tamaklo in a bit. When speaking sense turns foolishness, do 